Hello, uh, this video demonstrates uh, how to uh, drop an H block, a parametric H block, to make a kind of pocket on my door here. So, um, the first thing uh, to, <coughs> to do is just uh, drop the H block on the right part. In this case, this is uh, the left lateral. And make sure that you understand where is the length the width and the height of the H block because uh, this is important later to uh, to not get confused actually. Here I'm going to rename my uh, <coughs> H block because I need it later in my postprocessor to assign a special uh, processing with two cutters for example. And uh, now I can let you show that I have also created five uh, different parameters at the uh, well cabinet level or door level here. Uh, so to manage uh, the, the dimensions of my H block and its position on the left lateral. And now I need to go to the iron cut parameter table. At the H block level, I create uh, five parameters. Uh, pocket L, uh, pocket W, so obviously to uh, manage the width of the pocket, pocket uh, height, uh, pocket H, sorry, and uh, two more parameters to uh, <coughs> manage um, its uh, translation along the L value and H value of my left uh, lateral, which is uh, quite important, of course. So far, so good. So now, if I <coughs> um, look at the uh, parameters of my uh, uh, door, I need to uh, just transfer the the top parameters uh, from the top to to uh, the H block actually. So you just need to copy paste. Uh, the right uh, parameters in the right fields. Don't don't make a mistake because uh, it's important uh, to drop the right uh, parameters in the right field. So now, for example, I just realized that I made a mistake here. I should have written the other one. But anyway, okay, it doesn't, doesn't matter. I, as far as you realize it, that's that's okay. So <clears throat> okay, I have uh, finished with this. Uh, transfer of uh, parameters and the last step actually is that I need real I need to transfer again those parameters but via the entity shape uh, wizard of uh, ironcat that's the way ironcat uh, works and here I have the size box and just need to check show formula and write the three parameters uh, according to uh, what you see here on your screen and you will notice that indeed my H block is uh, moving or enlarging according to uh, its uh, new values. Perfect. Now um, <coughs> we need also to uh, manage its translation along the L and height, uh, L and H uh, value of the left lateral. And this is made via the anchor wizard, not via the size box, via the anchor. And I write again pocket post L, pocket post uh, H. So, perfect. <clears throat> now, oh, it seems to be uh, uh, gone actually. Well, it's it's out of my part and that's not really um, a problem because it, it just goes in the, uh, the wrong direction. And to make it move in the right direction, you just have to set somehow a minus uh, sign, so times minus one will do the job. And indeed, now my H block is moving along the uh, L value of my left lateral according to uh, the right direction. Um, okay, now I need to move it, uh, obviously, to move this H block some, somehow. So uh, if I write here, okay, uh, move it according to uh, the alt value, so the length value of my left part minus uh, its uh, position. If I look now and uh, I can see that indeed it's moving according to my wishes, it's moving 
upwards. The last thing to do is uh, to make it move uh, inside to the left, inside of my left lateral. And, and for this, I need to write a little more elaborate uh, formula. Uh, this is uh, the formula you need to copy paste. So, oh, it's like in Excel actually, it's uh, quite simple to understand. But now um, <clears throat> I just need to uh, copy paste this, uh, not here, not in the uh, anchor wizard, but well in the Iron Cat uh, parameter table. So I just uh, paste it here. And indeed, this is what exactly I wanted. It is not. It is now centered on uh, my left lateral. The last thing I would like to do now is just work the four corners of my <coughs> pocket here. I'm going to drop uh, the uh, the fillet feature of the 2D sketch uh, IronCAD. This is the uh, 2D sketch interface in IronCAD, and uh, I just uh, assign a radius. And make sure that the radius is at least equal or even larger than the radius of the cutter that will process this on the CNC machine. So uh, this looks nice. Um, <clears throat> I need to uh, uh, make the last corner. So this is done now. And um, okay, let's have a look uh, at, the, at the door. And I think uh, it should be nice. Uh, that's exactly what uh, what I wanted. So don't forget that this is uh, parametric, of course, and uh, I <coughs> you know need just need to drop hinges because a door without hinges mm, is not a door. <laughs> and um, that's that's it. I I, I save it into my uh, special uh, library for this. That's, uh, that's done, and my ID now is to uh, check that everything is fine, and I'm going to uh, drop it onto uh, or into uh, a cabinet. So um, <clears throat> I open up a second window, and this is, uh, this is a special cabinet. This is made in a hardwood. So I just uh, call and drop my uh, my door. I make sure that you uh, select. Not the panel doors or the generic door, but well, uh, the via the, your library, the door that we have just uh, designed together. And uh, indeed, well, you see that it automatically gets the right uh, dimension according to, well, let's say the niche inside which the, the, the door is dropped. So uh, looks uh, just nice. And uh, okay, I just verify if. Uh, it's uh, opening in the right direction, which is uh, well, exactly what I wanted. But the good thing is that if you want to make it open on the left side, uh, you don't need to create a second door, actually. You just need to uh, check this box here in the wizard for uh, the place uh, door. And you see that automatically my pocket is, uh, has been mirrored on the other side, uh, as well as my uh, <coughs> uh, hinges. So that's pretty easy to uh, to manage a, a door inside a wood lab. Okay, perfect. I make a test and it's uh, opening in the well left direction. So that's what I wanted. Now, last thing to do is to check in the, the cam uh, because we we want to go to the CNC machine and uh, here I load my part in the cam. I'm just going to run execute and. Uh, <coughs> Indeed, I can see that I have my three cutters with uh, my saw blade. I have a formatting with a larger cutter. And on the underface, I have uh, my pocket. So that's uh, perfect. I think uh, we can uh, go to the production now. That's it. Thank you very much.